honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. <laughs> who's here today? Well, I've got precious. But don't just sit there, Poppet. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> Well, what do you think this is? A tractor. Yes, but today's really special because it's Lisa's birthday. <gasps> so we're going to make her a birthday card. Yes. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Oh, what do you think? I'm so excited. And stick and you put some nice blobs. I've got precious, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Lisa! Yes, with Tina! Hello there! <laughs> Tina! <laughs> and Lisa, come on, we three honey pies! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the birthday girl's here! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> uh, Granny Murray, um, do you know what Lisa's favourite nursery rhyme is? Well, she always asks me to sing Old King Cole. <laughs> oh, why don't you all dress Claude up as Old King Cole? Oh, shh, Granny Murray. It's meant to be a surprise. Oh, well, we're going to have a secret chat to the chairs. <laughs> so What's the surprise? Well, I'm going to ask the Ferry Boat Band to make a special recording of Old King Cole on a CD as a birthday present for Lisa. That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> Who's going to sing the words? Dr Juno. Oh, great. Oh, by the way, here's your invitation to Lisa's birthday party. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm afraid I'll be working most of the day. I think I'll probably miss the party. I really wanted Lisa to have a special birthday. Oh, it will be special, Tina. We'll have jelly and cake and we'll put up decorations. <laughs> After all, with a bit of thought, you can make everyday things look really special. Can you? Well, <laughs> I hope so. Oh, look at Claude. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, Your Royal Highness. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd best be off to work. Give us a hug, Lise. Oh, have a happy party, birthday girl. <laughs> Come on, then. Bye. <laughs> and remember, you can make everyday things look special. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> now, will you keep a wee eye on Tina? Make sure she gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit and which way's a miss? Left! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that way Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Thanks for helping me get to work. Okay, right now it's time to get changed for work. All dressed, 
dressed and ready to go. Hi, Tina. Oh, hello, Mickey John. Do you want to lift in my taxi? Not today, but what I do need is a prop to do with dancing. I'm teaching all the children in my class about the history of dance today. Have a look round our box of stage props. You might find something there to help you. Thanks. A metronome. Hear that? Tick, 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 tick. It sets a beat to dance to. I think the children of my class will love this. Can I borrow it? Of course. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Mickey John. Nine o'clock. I bet Granny Murray's just dropping Lisa off at nursery. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo, that's for me. Bye-bye, Lisa. I'll see you soon, Angel. Oh, good girl. Bye-bye. I wish I could be a fly in the wall to see Lisa at nursery. All your recording equipment. Yep, we're looking forward to singing Old King Cole, aren't we, Chuck? Oh, yes, ready to rattle my crown and bobo. <laughs> you both look fantastic. Say cheese. Cheese! Brilliant. Now, I'll leave you to set up and I'm off to work. Bye. Bye. City roads are waiting Ooh. The traffic lights are changing Police cars are cruising The trucks keep on trapping And the city roads are waiting for me To take a drive in my pretty pink taxi People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi Get into the back and just relax for the She's going for a drive. Look in the mirror, shift that gear. Pull up to the busy lane, my pretty pink taxi takes the strain. Oh, the radio calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi, oh. Birds in a city, my pretty pink taxi, yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Ride, 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 hey, where you wanna go? Cause I need to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. People wave me down and relax for the ride. so busy, but, ah, oh, you're all set up. Ready to rock and roll, Tina. All we need now is... Dr. Dr. Juno! Hi, everyone. Oh, hello, Dr. Juno. Oh, listen, thanks for coming along to sing old King Cole for Lisa. Wow, this is the business. <laughs> Here, take my crown to get you into the vibe, babe. <laughs> OK, let's hit it. A one, two, three, four. Oh, King Cole was a merry old soul and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe and he called for his ball and he called for his fiddle as three. Every fiddler had a fiddle fine and a very fine fiddle had he. Twiddle dum twiddle dee when the fiddle as three. Twiddle dum twiddle dee twiddle dum twiddle dee twiddle dum twiddle dee when the fiddle as three. Twiddle dum dum twiddle diddle dee. Ah, oh, perfect. Thanks, Tina. There you go. Oh, is that the recording? Yep, take good care of it. I will, don't worry. I'll just nip home, burn it onto CD, ready to give to Lisa. See you later. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Lisa is going to love her song. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, Ruby, my voice! Ruby, my voice! Oh, you chicken fixes! You chicken fixes! Give me a big break! I think. Oh, Lisa, you and Mum will be home soon, and I'm sure she'll want to join in the fun, won't she? I love you, Mummy. Hi, Tina. Oh. Sorry it's taking so long. My computer crashed, and I needed to fix it before I could make Lisa's CD. Oh, thank you, Dr. Juno. Lisa will be thrilled. Well, here it is. Sorry I didn't get the time to make a case for it. Bye. Well, thanks, Dr. Juno. That's not a very special present, is it? I mean, I've tried to get to Lisa's party. I I've tried to get Dr Juno to make her a great CD. And I've tried to make her present really brilliant. But nothing's gone right. What went wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's. Lisa got a digger birthday card. And the children dressed up Claude like old King Cole. Granny Murray gave me an invitation to Lisa's party. She promised to make it really special because I was going to miss most of it. At nine o'clock, I got to the garage under the arches and changed for work. Mickey John called by. He wanted to borrow one of our stage props to teach his class about dancing. At 11 o'clock, the ferry boat band arrived to set up the recording equipment because I had asked him to record a special CD of Lisa's favorite nursery rhyme, Old King Cole. At three o'clock, I got back to the garage. Dr Juno arrived to help with the singing. She sang Old King Cole as the ferry boat band played. It sounded fantastic. Then Dr Juno went home to burn the song onto a CD. At four o'clock, Dr Juno came back with Lisa's CD. Her computer had given her trouble and she hadn't managed to make a cover for the CD. So Lisa's present doesn't look at all exciting. Now remember, you can make everyday things look special. Make everyday things really special? Well, of course. There are lots of everyday things in the garage. And I can use the photos I took to make Lisa's CD really special and make my taxi look really special too. Well, Lisa will love it. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm going to beat the clock before the chime I'm going to sort it I'm going to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do you like my disco taxi? <laughs> Me too And the photos of Dr Juno and the ferry boat band make a brilliant cover for Lisa's CD <laughs> Well, I think it's time that old King Cole went to the party I can't wait to see Lisa's face when I get there. I'm coming, Lisa. <laughs> oh, so it is clever, Gero. Hello, Tina. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look at this. It's a disco taxi. All aboard. Oh, come on, Lisa. <laughs> look at that. Uh -huh. A disco ball. Oh, clever, Gero. Let's play your new CD, Lisa. Oh, King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his ball, and he called for his fiddle three. Every fiddler had a fiddle fine, and a very fine fiddle had he. 
Twiddle dum twiddle dee when the fiddlers three. Twiddle dum twiddle dee, twiddle dum twiddle dee. Twiddle dum twiddle dee when the fiddlers three. Twiddle dum dum twiddle diddle dee. Let's go! Let's go crazy! Look who's here, Lisa. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. <laughs> Hello. Will you say thanks to Granny Murray? Oh, I've been squeezing, <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. You can make everyday things really special. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, you'll want to be home. <laughs> bye bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, dancing, dusting, shearing, choosing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, picking up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Old King Cole because it was Lisa's birthday today and Old King Cole was her favourite nursery rhyme. We dropped Lisa off at nursery. She must have had a wonderful time as everyone sang Happy Birthday! After nursery, it was time for Lisa's birthday party. We had jelly and cake and played games. Lisa had a fantastic surprise. Tina had made her taxi into a disco taxi. We drove around the city as we listened to Lisa's new CD. She loved it. Do you like going to birthday parties? <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to here today. Well, we've got Paige, but don't just sit there fruit scone. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> well done. Now, we are going to make steering wheels for our car. Does that look good? You've got your horn in the middle. Clever girl. Hold it up like this. No crashing. Come on. Round they go, drive your car. <laughs> well, we've got Paige, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, yes, it's Lisa <laughs> with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Hi, Granny Murray. And Lisa. Oh, careful you don't get run over. <laughs> we've been playing at cars. I think we're all packed up now, though. Oh, do not talk to me about parking. I got a parking ticket the other day when I was doing the shopping. Poor you. Oh, never mind. Now Lisa's here will do something new. Why don't you dress Claude up as a traffic warden? Oh. No. <laughs> On you go, my darlings. And why don't we park ourselves over there? Oh, I'll not give you a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! You know, it's really difficult to find time to do the family shopping every week, especially at the end of a hard day's work. And Lisa hates it. She just wants to get home, instead of which I drag her all around the market. Oh, don't worry. Why don't you leave Lisa here a wee while longer? You go and do your shopping and come and pick Lisa up afterwards. Oh, well, well. Thank you, Granny Murray. There just never seems to be enough space left in a day to do everything. Sometimes there's more space than you think. <laughs> Will you look at Claude? <laughs> oh, Claude, you look great. Oh, yes, very efficient. Well Mommy. done, Poppets. Oh, not another parking ticket. Oh, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> you have a great day. Bye, See Mommy. you later. Oh, dear dog. Now remember, 
sometimes there's more space than you think. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit? And which way's a miss? Hey! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Hello, flower. Hello, cat. Hello, green man. Hello, flower. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Phew. Now what? Of course, I have to get dressed for work. <laughs> Tina. Oh, it's great to see you, but where are you off to? <laughs> well, I'm just on my way to deliver this fruit and veg to the station, and I thought I'd pop in with a joke for you and Raymond. Oh, go on then. I say, I say, I say. Uh, what do you say? What's yellow and white and travels at 120 miles per hour? I don't know. <laughs> a train driver's egg sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing, Tina? I haven't seen you in the market for whew, ages. It's just I've been so busy, but... Granny Murray has given me some extra time at the end of the day today to do my shopping. So I'll come to you for my fruit and veg then. Oh, great. Oh, you do realise that today's my busiest day of the whole week. Oh, dear. Yeah, so you'll have to get there earliest and, well, make sure that I haven't run out of all the things you want. Well, that might be difficult. Um, oh, could you maybe put some things aside for me, just to make sure I get them? <laughs> for you, Tina, anything. What would you like? Uh, I need some potatoes and some oranges. Some potatoes, oranges. Tomatoes. And tomatoes. Right, OK, I'll see you later. Oh, ready, and some broccoli, please. Thanks. That's Lisa's favourite. I wonder what my lovely Lisa's doing now. I love to skip in River Sea Pingo, River Sea Pingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingo, River Sea Pingo, that's for me. That's us, my darlings, we're nearly at the park. <laughs> that's the best place to practise our parking and driving. Turn left. On we go. Oh, Lisa, you'll be driving about just like your mum. <laughs> I'm thinking of you, Mummy. Hello, Tina. Hi, Dr Juno. How are you? Are you busy? No. Well, actually, yes. I'm just going shopping and then to the market. Well, can I interest you on a ride? No, thank you. I'll just stick to my bike. It's great for shopping because you never have any parking problems. <laughs> Would you like me to do some shopping for you? I know you're really busy. Oh, no thanks. Granny Murray has given me some extra time at the end of the day. So I'll go then. Well, if you're sure. Never surer. <laughs> See you then, Tina. Happy shopping. Right. Time to get down to some hard work. City roads are waiting Oh, the traffic lights are changing Police cars are cruising The trucks keep on trapping And the city roads are waiting for me To take a drive in my pretty pink taxi, taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi Get into the back and just relax for the She's going for a drive. 
gear. Let the busy lady mob with the taxi takes the strain. Oh, the radio calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my taxi pink taxi. Oh. Cruise in a city in my pretty pink taxi, yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Ride, 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 hey, where you wanna go? Taxi. Cause I need to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. People wave me down and relax for the ride. Time for some lunch. <laughs> my tummy's been rumbling so loudly that some of my passengers thought it was something wrong with my taxi. <laughs> oh, Tina! Mm. There you are. <laughs> oh, sorry to interrupt your lunch. <laughs> I'm just going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my mouth was full. <laughs> oh, so you want to go in a taxi? Oh, I, no, 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 thanks. I'm fine as I am. No problem with parking or taxis when you're on your two feet. Oh, okay. And I can fit all the shopping that I need for today into my backpack. Great. I just wondered if you wanted anything while I was down the shops. Uh, I don't think so, thank you. I've got a whole week shopping to do. I don't think that'll fit in your backpack. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> all right then, well, I'll see you later. Oh, thanks anyway. I'm going to go and do my shopping later, just before I pick Lisa up. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I wonder if you're at the park yet, Lise. And go! Come on, girls! That's the way! Wiggling it out the cones! Good girls! That's it! Well done, Molly! That's hard going, I know it is! Catch up, Kira! You're doing well! Catch up with that! It won't be long before I can pick up Lisa. Oh my goodness! It really is nearly time to pick Lisa up. And Granny Murray gave me this extra time especially to do my shopping. I'd better get down to the shops now before it's too late. This is terrible. I've been driving round and round trying to find a parking space so that I can leave my taxi and go and do my shopping. I've got to pick Lisa up soon and I can't find any place to park. Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I dropped Lisa off at Granny Murray's. The children were busy playing cars and practicing their parking. Granny Murray told me Lisa could stay a little later so that I could do my shopping after work. Lisa gave me a parking ticket from Claude the Traffic Warden. At 10 o'clock, Rudy came to the garage and told me a joke. It's Rudy's busiest day today, so he agreed to save my shopping for me until I could get to the market. I told him what I wanted. At 11 o'clock, Dr Juno came to see me. She was going shopping on her bicycle, so she knew she wouldn't have any parking problems. At 12 o'clock, I was eating my lunch when Bobby popped in. Well, she was walking to the shops, so she wouldn't have any difficulty with traffic or parking. At five o'clock, I realised that it was time to do my shopping before I had to go and collect Lisa from Granny Murray. But I've been driving around and around, and I can't find a parking space anywhere. Remember, sometimes there's more space than you think. <laughs> sometimes there's more space than you think. Well, if there is sometimes more space than I think, I'd better keep looking for a parking space. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. 
time, I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong, I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. She's going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Have a good day. I'm ready. Oh, Tina. Thank goodness I was beginning to think you weren't going to make it. Oh, so was I. I had difficulty parking. Did you manage to keep all my shopping for me? Of course. Why, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. We have potatoes, oranges, tomatoes, beans, and here's your broccoli. And here's a ten pound note. Thanks, well, Rudy. Thank you, madam, and here's your change. Thank you. Lisa's favourite. Oh, could I have um, two apples, please? Thank you. And maybe four carrots. You see, my friend Lisa's coming for a tea, so I'll need lots of carrots. And uh, could we have corn in the cob, please? How many? Well, just the one. And a wee orange, because that's always nice to have some fruit, isn't it? After your tea. And I wonder what else my friend Lisa would like. A tomato. Oh, thank hey, you Annie. so much. Just the one. Now, how much will that be? Five pounds. Please. Five pounds? My goodness. I'm glad Rudy's not so expensive. <laughs> Did you have a good day with Granny Murray? You betcha. Will you say thanks to Granny Murray? <laughs> Come Thank here, you, Granny Murray. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes there's more space than you think. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> That's a good girl. Bye-bye, my darling. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. What was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a traffic warden because the children were playing cars and practicing their parking. Tina told me she had got a parking ticket the last time she went shopping. Lisa gave her mum another parking ticket from Claude the traffic warden. Then I took the children with all their cars and bikes to the park. While Tina was driving her taxi, the children had great fun practising manoeuvring their cars and bikes in and out of spaces and parking. Oh, and I really enjoyed directing them. Later, Lisa stayed on late with me so her mum could do her shopping. Lisa and I played markets. Tina managed to find a parking space to go to the market. She remembered what I said about there sometimes being more space than you think. Delicious. A tasty end to a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs> Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Brandon and we've got Adele. Don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? It's... Rattles! Well, we've got a deal. And 
we've got Brandon. But someone's missing from home today. <laughs> Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? His legs are those coming down the steps. Oh, here's Tina. Yes, little Lisa. Hello there. Tina. <laughs> Come on, we three, honey pie. Big yellow. Oh, thank you, come, Angel. We're having a rattling good time in here. Oh, I can see that, Granny Murray. Ole. <laughs> <laughs> but now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a Spanish dancer oh. for we paellas? <laughs> On you go. <laughs> and we can cast on it. Turn we over to the chairs. <laughs> Come on, Tina. Ole! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, Tina. My friend Juanita's coming over today to show the children some Spanish dancing. Oh, Juanita. Oh, she is a fantastic dancer. I wish I could be here to join in. Why don't you stay? Oh, I can't. I have to drive my taxi. Oh, well, I suppose we all have to work. <laughs> oh, will you look at Claude? <laughs> Oh, sugar plums, what's happened to you? Oh, don't worry, Claude. I'll sort you out. I know how to fix you. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to call in the expert. Oh, good old Granny Murray. Here you are. Oh, Lisa, is that for me? Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> now I can rattle my way off to work. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. And remember... When things go wrong, you sometimes have to call in the experts. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> now, will you keep a wee eye on Tina? Make sure she gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along Singing my arms, singing my way through the city's charm. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always know the way I go. But can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which ways I hit and which ways I miss? Left! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Hello, flower. Hello, cat. Hello, green man. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get to work. Okay, right now it's time to get changed for work. <laughs> that noise? There must be a carnival parade somewhere. <laughs> Grave <Graving> music. <laughs> I wonder what Lisa's up to right now. I'd like to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Get out. Say a big hello to my friend Juanita! Hello, buenos dias! Oh, oh, <laughs> Can you show us some Spanish dancing? Yeah, of course! Here you are! Come on, girl. Oh, Juanita! Your mum would be so proud of you! 
Lisa's having fun with all that Spanish dancing. Hi, Tina. Are you free? Oh, Mickey John John. Sure, jump in. Oh, thanks, Tina. No worries, Mickey John. Oh, maybe you can take your class to the Carnival Parade later. Carnival Parade? Yeah. What Carnival Parade? Why? Hi. <laughs> well, Mickey John was my first fair of the day, but I'm sure there will be lots more. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. After all that. Hi, Tina. Oh, hi, Bobby. Would you like some tea? Oh, no, thanks. I'm just on my way home to collect Kai from nursery, but I thought you might like <gasps> this. Oh, an air freshener. Oh, you sweetie. Thanks. Oh, a dancing air freshener. <laughs> <laughs> the whole city's dancing today. Have you heard it? Uh, no, no, not really. No? Well, why don't I give you a lift and you'll hear it for yourself? <laughs> Listen! Started already! Can you hear the click clack, Bobby? <laughs> um, I think you must have one of those pairs of castanets hidden in your handbag. <laughs> no, but I can't hear any castanets, Tina. But you must be able to, Bobby. What else could be making that click clack sound? <laughs> uh, maybe you should get your ears looked at, Tina. <laughs> now you give my love to Kai. OK. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, click, click, rattle, rattle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lisa. <laughs> What's next? Uh, castanets. Oh, yeah. The uh, in your thumb. Let's go to dance. In your hands, monkey. Thank you, Mummy. Oh! <laughs> Dr. Chino! I may have the pleasure of the next to dance. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what you get up to all day, is it? Oh, well, only when I'm not busy. <laughs> well, what can I do for you, Dr. Juno? Can I have a lift to the hospital? Of course. Hop in. <laughs> By the 
way, Doctor Juno, I think you should test Bobby's ears. Really? Why? Well, she was in my taxi earlier and she couldn't hear these brilliant castanets. Are you sure? Well, yes. They must be coming from some carnival parade. Well, I can't see any carnival parade, Tina. Maybe you should have your ears tested. Me? Do you think you should? Oh, just because they can hear castanets. Oh, dear. That'll be three pounds, please. Here you are, Tina. Can you hear the castanets now? Yes, I can. The carnival parade must be getting closer. Right. I think I need to give your taxi an examination, Tina. Let's see what the matter could be. Aha! The problem's under here. What? I have castanets beneath my taxi. No, Tina. You've got a rattling exhaust. You need a new exhaust pipe. What? I must fly. Thanks for the lift. Bye. Uh, uh. Oh, no. I've still got a full day's work to do and now my taxi needs repaired. Well, what am I going to do? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's and the children dressed up Claude like a Spanish dancer. At nine o'clock, I started up my taxi. It sounded like there was a carnival parade nearby and I started to jig around. At 10 o'clock, Mickey John called in for a lift to school. We drove along to the rhythm of the dance music from the carnival parade. At 11 o'clock, Bobby called. I took her for a ride to listen to the castanets from the carnival, but she couldn't hear them. She told me I needed my ears testing. At 12 o'clock, Dr Juno needed a lift to the hospital with her new bike wheel. I could still hear the castanets and asked her to test my ears. But Dr Juno examined my taxi instead of my ears and soon found a problem. The rattling I could hear was a broken exhaust pipe. Now remember, when things go wrong, you sometimes have to call in the experts. Of course! Well, all I have to do is call in the experts to fix my taxi. And I know just the place to get a brand new exhaust pipe. <laughs> It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a show to your friends, she will get there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish the song. Quiet as a mouse now. <laughs> you know, I quite miss that rattle now it's not there. <laughs> But I can always shake my loose change box. <laughs> Lisa would love this. <laughs> Granny Murray? You betcha! Yeah. Well, you say thanks to Granny Murray. Oh, Thank I'm you, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, I remembered what you said. When things go wrong, you sometimes have to call in the experts. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on. Listen. 
Bye bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Ah, oh, me too. And Come on, Mister. Should we go and talk about our time away? And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, picking up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a Spanish dancer because today my friend called Juanita came to do some Spanish dancing. Juanita looked gorgeous in her flamenco dress. She gave the children special rattles called maracas to shake as we danced. Then Juanita showed us how to play the castanets. We put them on our fingers and clicked them together. They made a loud rattling noise, just like a rattling exhaust pipe on Tina's taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I should take along my castanets next time I go to a party? <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got El Shadia and we've got Angel. But don't just sit there, my darlings. Come on, let's have some fun. What's in Granny Murray's shells today? Do you like nursery rhymes? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. Do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? Well, we've got Angel and we've got El Shadia. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Lisa with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Hi, Granny Murray. I'm Lisa. Come away through, honey pies. Hello, flowers. Now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. <laughs> Why don't you dress Claude up in lots of different bits oh. and bobs, eh? <laughs> and we'll have a wee seat over there. <laughs> Darling, are you going to the fancy dress party at the People's Palace in the park? Oh, no. I'll be busy driving my taxi. But Raymond can go, though. He's got the afternoon off. I'm taking the children. I'm going as Little Miss Muffet. <gasps> hey, how about dressing one of the children up as your spider? Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> yes, I'll make the most of my time at home today by making a spider costume for Lisa. <laughs> And don't forget to make the most of your time too. Um, I won't. Oh, will you look at Claude? Oh. <laughs> oh, poor old Claude. I can hardly see you under all those clothes. Oh, I know he's a firefighting, spooky, scuba diving cricketer. Well done, Angels. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a spider. Oh. It's not a real one. Oh. Well, it was a good trick, Lise. <laughs> <laughs> now, you be good today. Night. <laughs> Come on, treasure. Now remember, make the most of your time. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, will you keep a wee eye on Tina? Make sure she gets the right way to work. Which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit and which way's a miss? Hey! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Now, or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? 
Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Phew. Now what? Of course, I have to get dressed for work. Oh! Raymond, what a super surprise! How is my Queen of Hearts? Oh, I'm just grand. What are you doing here? <laughs> I just nipped in to get a costume for the fancy dress party. How about, oh, the grand old Duke of York? <laughs> what do you think? Perfect. I'll pack it in a box for you. Righto. Well, I'll pop in after work and pick it up on the way to the party. Sure. <laughs> I'll leave it over there. <laughs> Love you. <Mwah>. Me too. <laughs> oh, what's it? Oh! <laughs> it's only Lisa's. It's <laughs> Oh. I wonder what Lisa's doing right now. I love to skip in River Sea Tingle, River Sea Tingle, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Tingle, River Sea Tingle, that's for me. I wish I could be a fly on the wall to see Lisa at nursery. When she spied down up the water spent, then came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. <laughs> Tina, Tina, Tina! Yes, Bobby? I've been invited to the... Fancy dress party. Yeah? And I was wondering if I could possibly... Borrow something from the costume store. <laughs> oh, you are good. <laughs> so, is that all right? That's fine. I can't go to the fancy dress party myself because I've got to work. But if I was going, I would have worn this. Wow! Mm -hmm. The Queen of Hearts! <laughs> Great. Thanks. I'll pop it in a box and I'll leave it right over there. Oh, thank you, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bobby. Well, time for me to hit the road again. Look out, City. Here I come. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The traffic the trapping and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi. Get into the back and just relax for the ride. Pretty pink taxi, she's going for a drive. Look in the mirror and ship that gear. Pull out to the busy lane, my pretty pink taxi takes Radio calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Costumes for Raymond and Bobby. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had a pair of boots, a jacket, some trousers, and a very smart black hat. <laughs> a crown for a queen. The Queen of Hearts made some tarts. Oh, tarts. Nice dress. Oh, yes. Thanks, Dr Juno. It's for the fancy dress party. Oh, cool. Are you coming? 
Well, I can't. I'm working. This is for Bobby. How about you? Well, that's just it. Do you have such a thing as a Viking helmet? And if so, may I borrow it from you? A Viking helmet, eh? One with, with big horns. <laughs> that's right. Oh, I think I see a Viking helmet. Oh. Ta-da! Oh, great! Well done! <laughs> well, I better go and get ready. Well, enjoy wearing it. I will. See ya. <laughs> well, now that's all sorted. Hello, love. <laughs> You've made good time. Yes, all the trains ran on time today. <laughs> Have you put my costume in a box for me? Yeah, it's over there. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Bye. Bye. Oh, give Lisa a hug from me. <laughs> Lisa must be getting ready for the fancy dress party right now. <laughs> You're a very scary spider. It's just as well I know it's you. Because I'm little Miss Muffet. I would have to run away from a spider. <laughs> oh, girls, I must take your photo. Hold on. Now, everybody budge in close. That's the way. Ready? Oh, fantastic. <gasps> Wait till I show Mum when she gets home. I'm dreaming of you, Mum. I'm sorry I'm late, Tina. Thanks for this. Now, um, how do I get to the People's Palace? Oh, I'll give you a lift in the taxi or you'll never make it on time. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! going to have to go back. This isn't the Queen of Hearts costume. It's <gasps> the Grand Old Duke of York. That's what it looks like, yeah. We're on our way to a fancy dress party. You've got the wrong costume and we can't go back because we're totally stuck in this traffic jam. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Lisa. Granny Murray told me that she was taking the children to a fancy dress party at the People's Palace in the park. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the taxi garage and got myself ready for work. Raymond stopped by to look for a grand old Duke of York uniform that he could wear to the fancy dress party. I said I'd pack it up in a box for him. At nine o'clock, Bobby came along to tell me that she wanted to go to the fancy dress party, but she didn't have an outfit. I showed her my Queen of Hearts dress and told her that I would pop it into a box for her to collect later. And at three o'clock, I packed Bobby's Queen of Hearts dress and Raymond's Grand Old Duke of York uniform into boxes. Raymond called in to collect his costume and at four o'clock, Bobby came by to pick up her costume. We jumped into the taxi and I set off across the city to the fancy dress party. But at five o'clock, we were still sitting in a traffic jam. And that's when Bobby realised that she'd picked up Raymond's grand old Duke of York uniform by mistake. Now remember, make the most of your time. Make the most of your time. Well, of course. Since the traffic's so bad and we can't go anywhere, we might as well make the most of our time here. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a show to her friends, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm going to beat the clock before the chime I'm going to sort it She's going to sort it I'm going to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish the song 
Well, Bobby, that's £10 to taxi and the makeover is free to a friend. Oh, thanks, Tina. You're a pal. Good luck, Bobby. Oh, I mean, grand old duke. <laughs> oh! It's not what I was expecting, but it's definitely fancy dress. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye! Well, oh, I hope Bobby and Raymond have a great time at the party. Oh, and Lisa has too. I wish Mum could have been here as well, but we'll tell her all about it, won't we? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hello, Tina, come away in. Look who's here, Lisa. <laughs> Oh, hi, Lise. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. Oh, did you have a good day with Granny Murray? You betcha. Will you say thanks to Granny Murray? <laughs> Come thanks here, Granny Murray. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Make the most of your time. <laughs> it saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in all sorts of crazy clothes because later we were going to the fancy dress party. We looked at a book of nursery rhymes and had fun thinking about all the different characters. I took Lisa to nursery. Later on, we all got into costume. Lisa made a brilliant spider. Tina had fun too, making the most of her time and Bobby dressed up as the grand old Duke of York. We had such a laugh at the fancy dress party at the People's Palace. Raymond looked so funny as the Queen of Hearts. Wasn't that a hoot? <laughs> I hope you had a fun time. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs>